Welcome to the tour of the Catechism of the Catholic Church. My name is Father Daniel Mayen. I am the pastor of St. John the Apostle Catholic Church in Bloomington, Indiana, and the pastor of St. Jude the Apostle Catholic Church in Spencer, Indiana. It's a privilege to be able to present part three of the Catechism, Life in Christ, the part that has to do with morality. As you recall, part one of the Catechism deals with what we believe and follows the outline of the 12 articles of the Apostles' Creed. Part two of the Catechism treats how we celebrate our faith and is based upon the seven sacraments of the church. This part of the Catechism treats morality in its most general way and then concludes by going through each of the Ten Commandments. Part four, to anticipate what is coming after, is called Christian prayer. And it helps us to understand the spiritual life, especially by understanding better each of the aspects of the Lord's Prayer. Part three of the Catechism deals with the moral life, a moral life that is very much reflective of everything that is professed in part one of the Catechism, especially the profession of faith in the Incarnation, the Word made flesh dwelling among us. For as we shall see, it is faith in Jesus Christ that forms the basis, the foundation of moral living. Also, what we cover in part three is closely connected with part two, the sacraments, because our way of living in a moral way is a way of living out the sacrament of baptism. And it's a way of putting into practice the gifts of the Holy Eucharist. In the Holy Eucharist, we receive into our persons the body and blood of Christ so that we might more effectively be the living body of, and blood of our Lord out in the world. And so too is part three of the Catechism related to Christian prayer. For only through a life of prayer can one follow the path that the Lord puts before us.